Crazy Mike Zaps account with an iPhone app video demo for OneSafe. This productivity app allows you to safely store and protect your most important and private information with 100 plus ready-made templates, AES-256 encryption, iCloud Sync, and much more. To get started with OneSafe, simply tap on continue on the bottom. Once you do, it'll pull up a couple of options, get more info or set password. We're going to go ahead and tap on get more info. OneSafe provides a bunch of information, a little background about the application and the security, other information on how many passwords to use, and then golden rules for OneSafe, all very good information. You can find this in the settings as well. Now tapping on set password, once we tap there, we're going to go in, we have several options a four digit pin for our password, an A to Z password, or a pattern unlock for our password. We're gonna go ahead and grab a pin. I'm just gonna put 111. They'll ask you to confirm it, 111. And then I'm gonna also add some secret questions. You'll have an option to add two secret questions. This was my second question. And the questions are another level of security. Upon entering the app, you're gonna see the interface to add your information. From the plus sign, share some navigation down there. First, we're gonna go into settings and backup, and we're gonna import some data through upload from iTunes. Tap on the file, it's been imported. We can append it or add it to our information, or we can replace the information in the app. Now, this is the main area for where you're keeping information, specifically in this area of computer. You can tap share, but we have nothing to share. It's a quick look at what it looks like blank, and that's where you can go and add. Now, going into a pre-populated, computer section you can see this is the full view when you pull up the card in full view or full screen you can edit it once you're editing it you can flip it over change the information on the phone notes what have you, you can also change the card itself from a variety of texture templates colors and whatnot send by email duplicate it you can bookmark it and favorite it also a really neat feature is the arrow on the right side of www.twitter.com will actually take you to the in-app browser and send you right in or log you directly into that social networking site. A very nice feature. Now tapping on the front of the card under the password will actually pull the password up right in front of you in large letters. You can also do the same for the username or the login name. Some variety of options there, editing. You can go into full screen, pulls it there. In the upper left, you can tap on share, add a favorite, send by email, or delete it. Tapping on edit in the upper left allows you to change all the information on the card. You can change some on the front, tap on the bottom left list, and you can actually change additional information on the left side. Just tap on those tabs and you can see the appropriate information to put in there. Tap on the picture icon in the bottom navigation and you can change the card face. Tap on the share button on the bottom navigation, send by email, duplicate, and you can favorite it just like that and put a little banner on it. Close out of there, that's what it looks like full screen. Here's what it looks like in cards. Tap on plus and here are all the different templates. This is just the templates for the web and you can see Wi-Fi. So we're gonna tap there and I'll show you how to add one. It pulls up and this is what the card will look like. You can put in your network name, put in your password, put in buzzard. I don't know why, but that's what we'll put in. If you have security, you can add that. Once done, it's added to your computer passwords, in this case for Wi-Fi. Those are all for computer. Now swipe to the left and we can access our secure wallet and you can access all of the different things by swiping to the left again, our work information or passwords. We also have secure documents, which you can do a lot with by tapping on the share icon in the upper left. Now going back to the card view, there's also gonna be a list view by tapping on the bottom lines and there's full screen view, which are the two arrows pointing out. Here's where we're at. We're gonna go ahead and add a category. You can add a category when you're in the main categories like computer, secure wallet. I'm adding Mrs. Crazy Mike's computer and you can pick a custom background you can also protect it by a password so this will actually have a double password and there is a double protection area as well here we go into mrs crazy mike's computer i'm going to do a pattern lock on this so besides the original numbered pin i'm going to do a u here for my pattern and now it'll take two passwords to get in there now under the settings there's a load of information you can do a decoy safe passcode you can go in and do a break-in report. Once you turn that on, it does some things. It'll let you know if somebody tries to break in. There's also some advanced security. Tap on advanced security, and you can see auto lock, never, remind password, self-destruct. Now, self-destruct is a pretty dangerous thing to use. Read that. After three unsuccessful attempts, it's wiping the app. 
So make sure you have a backup of this. You can see backup synchronization there through iCloud. There are some troubleshooting tips there for iCloud. And you can backup through Wi-Fi and iTunes. Getting some help, you can go there. It takes you to the website for OneSafe, but they got a load of information there. This application's got a ton of functionality. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into how to add anything through search a template, but you can also scan a card in or take a photo of something to keep that secure as well. Again, over 100 plus already pre-made templates for a lot of the popular websites, social networks, email services, etc. This app is great for the web, secure wallet, keeping confidential documents secure, as well as anything you can think of. Until next time, see ya.